Hello, World of Tank Blizzards, it's a little finger. Hope you all are doing well today, and I'm going to get on my little soapbox here and talk about matchmaking. want to hear your opinions on this subject in the comments below. Is matchmaking in Blitz broken? Currently working on a little project for someone else where I'm doing 250 battles, a tier 8, uh, any tank, but it has to be both supremacy and encounter battles. And after each battle, I'm writing down all the information uh, about each team. And quite honestly, it has opened my eyes to the fact that um, majority of these games are predetermined based upon the matchmaking because there are so many lopsided teams being put together. Um, and and quite honestly it's got me to a point where unless wargaming's dangling free tanks or different game modes i have completely lost interest in in playing this this game too many battles are are, are just being decided on a 7061 um just completely lopsided and that's just not fun um and so that's why I'm using this game here in the WZ120 uh, just to show you what I would love to see out of more games. I'm not saying every game has to be like this, but I just want to see more close competitive games. And I felt like that was the case. Um, you know, every every night I play 10, 20 battles, and I could think of, you know, two or three that really got the heart pumping, um, adrenaline going, close battles that you knew if you played it just perfectly, you could pull it out. Um, and that's gone away from me. I don't see that anymore. Um, and, and I think maybe part of the reason is, you know, I have unlocked every tank in the game. Um, I don't have tanks that I'm grinding, so I can't just put everything aside and say, all right, let's play 510 games in this tank and get a few more EXP. Um, and so I have to look for other ways to enjoy the game. And, you know, that's been Uprising mode or Gravity mode. Um, but apart from that, when I've sat down and I'm, and I'm doing 250 battles in Tier 8 as part of this project, it's really really got me thinking twice about what the fuck is going on with matchmaking um so many battles i have where there's a four or five percent difference between the average win rates of each team so many battles where there's four to five hundred point difference in the damage average per team um and those are huge numbers. I mean, that's like a team of 50% win rate going up a team of 45% win rates. That is predetermined how that's going to turn turn out. You know, and what happens is you get one or two bad players YOLO out. They get taken out early. You're down two guns. Um, and, and then everything just folds extremely quickly. But you can see in this battle here... I am over three minutes into this game and I only have a hundred and seven damage but that's okay you know you don't have to be the first one spotted you don't have to be the first one to get a shot in you can still have a big game and this game will prove it to you um, if you don't YOLO obviously I'm a TD uh, my job here in this game is you know is to try to do damage but I can't help it the team went down I had no shots um, if I pull out I'm gonna get just blown away this tank only has 1100 hit points for a tier 8 tank um, a Pantera's got like 1400 um, <laughs> you know so so uh, granted it's got great frontal armor but three shots and I'm pretty much toast so I have to be very careful So, you know, I, I, I don't know if it's an NA server problem, that there's just not enough people. I mean, you look at um, 
look at ratings battles. It makes total sense. A matchmaking based upon your your rating. Well, there's not enough players in NA to 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 fill out a team. You know, I'm getting on last night in ratings battles, and there's still people that don't have a rating. Or I am, you know, I haven't played much, but I'm in the 4,000s, and I'm getting people in the low 2,000s on my team. That's it's. I'm supposed to be playing against all 4,000 people, um, and, you know, and that's the point of a different matchmaking scheme. So, okay, fine. You're not getting enough people. Why reset it every month then? You know, let it go on a quarter basis, three months. Um, al allow t people more time to to develop a rating and hold on to that rating and build that rating. Um, but it just seems crazy there to, to reset that every month. So, um, so here we are, one on three. And, you know, damage is, I'm at 2,800 damage now, so the damage is, is where you want it for a nice tier 8 battle. Um, and we still got a minute and a half left, we still got three tanks, so um, will I clear this out? Um, I'm not sure. Um, we'll just have to play it out. But, but to me, you know, if NA server has an issue, as it does with ratings of not having enough players, then I'm assuming that same issue applies true to the regular matchmaking um, and, it, and it making these games with such lopsided, you know, five, um, four, five percent win rate differences per app, you know, per the team. Um, that, and, and maybe that's just an NA problem. I don't know. Maybe it's not a, an issue on the EU server or the Russian server or, or somewhere else like that. Um, and and so maybe that's the problem. I don't know. But I really think that, you know, all of this talk about ATGMs and these other issues of different maps and different tanks, it's all a distraction. And I really wish that the community would get behind this. As we have 10 seconds left, um, and really push this and see if we can't do something about getting a better matchmaking system and one second left on the clock guys let me finish that out 49 42 and damage ace mastery Klobanov. Um actually 49 39 and damage um, 103,000 credits those are the type of games guys I really want to see more of um, and I'm so tired of these lopsided games that is just a waste of my time. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do after, you know, these 250 battles that I've promised to complete are. Um, I might have to look at different things as far as tanks with lower win rates that I want to get up to a certain point. Or, you know, I stressed it last summer, uh, tanks that I haven't got ace masteries in. Maybe that's my goal. But just going out there and looking for a good close battle it's not happening and it's making me play less games and i'm really disappointed about it and i try to be positive about this guys so give me your comments below and remember have fun out there stay safe get educated not fingered little finger out